Afropalooza and build the culture of Uganda, uh, celebrating the 60 years independence. Tomorrow, we're going to host you in the VVIP section and the VIP section to some good, serious experiences. Pure enjoyment. Pure enjoyment. <laughs> now, um, the MTN Afropalooza is actually supported by um, Ministry of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities. You have Nile Special, you have Stan Big Bank, you also have NBS, New Vision, Mighty Rides, Sheraton, Seth Border, but also uh, MTN is uh, the head in this particular case. And so there's just been so much amazing energy with MTN Pulsars. We've been seeing them on Twitter causing chaos. They are waiting for tomorrow. Uh, so from MTN, first of all, thank you for uh, headlining this and making sure that you give it the very best of your time. But what are we expecting for this weekend as we celebrate Uganda from MTN? Um, thank you, Mackenzie. My name is Mavis Nadir Sungu. And as MTN, we are so proud and honored to be part of the Afropalooza Festival in celebrating Uganda 60. Um, we've given back to our customers because it's a music platform. We have um, Tidal, where most of our artists are, international artists as well. So we have given back to our customers, we have activations on different radio stations, Radio City, XFM, uh, people we need tickets. Uh, also we have um, discount tickets of Momo to all the customers and fans that will purchase tickets on the D-Day at the event, uh, which is tomorrow and Sunday. Also we have um, some people at houses at the, at the event. And the uh, university is opening this weekend, so uh, <laughs> it's going to be massive. Um, Mr. Ali Alibai from Talent Africa Group, the CEO, this must be a very good day for you. Uh, we are in uh, the position of what you have planned, what you have curated, and finally we're here. Uh, give us a little bit of the journey and obviously what we should expect for this weekend. Um, yeah, it's been a crazy journey. Um, nine months of planning into this festival, and it's really exciting that it's finally happening tomorrow. Actually, it's actually starting today because we have the pre-party happening at the villa. But um, yeah, it's been a long journey, and um, it's been a lot of planning, preparations, conceptualization, and putting it all together into execution. And um, this is the part that we just love to do as Talent Africa. We love to produce big events, big festivals, and you know, just make people happy. Um, this is going to be the biggest celebration on Independence Day ever. And uh, we're super excited to have Rema here in town. Um, I, met Rema, well, I met Rema and his team a few months ago in Nairobi when he performed there. And I went to go and watch the performance and I was then kind of deciding, you know, whether to bring him and I flew over there to kind of like, you know, to meet his team. And what I saw on that stage was insane. You know, he just everybody, the crowd was massive, everybody was vibing, raving, and I'm like, you know what, we need to bring this guy to Uganda again. And um, here he is, and we're really happy to host you and have you back here and um, you know, make some history together. Um, at the venue, things are going really well, the setup is ongoing, um, the stage and everything is gonna be ready, it's gonna be a vibe, it's gonna be a great production, and uh, we're really waiting to um, you know, just get, get things moving. We have more than 60 artists uh, performing. Uh, we have comedians, bands, DJs, fashion designers, traditional troops. Um, it's gonna be just a real vibe. Tickets are still on sale. Um, today, there's still early bird tickets available until midnight, so if you wanna come through, get your tickets today, they're discounted. Um, tomorrow, they'll be available at the gate, but the price will be higher. Um, of, of course, um, as Mavis mentioned, MTN will also have some specials. Um, tomorrow if you're buying tickets on the MTN uh, Momo platform. Um, I really want to thank all of our sponsors who've been with us on this journey. Um, special thanks to, again, MTN, our title sponsor, Nile Special, Standic Bank, Jameson, NBS, uh, the Ministry of Tourism, Sheraton Hotel, Mighty Rides, um, Safe Boda, um, the Uganda Cultural Forum, and everybody else and the media that have supported this campaign from the beginning. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Ali, uh, for that. And obviously, uh, Talent Africa, the entire team, thank you so much for uh, the heavy work that we have actually been able to see you put in. And we can't wait for this weekend to be amazing. Now, it is the moment. Uh, but before we get there, 
Uh, some girls here were asking me, who is that light skinned guy? Who is that guy who looks nice there? Who is sitting Long next to him? Who is that guy? So I was like, Long I need time. to tell them exactly who it is. Uh, <laughs> he is obviously uh, London. And uh, he is an award-winning producer and uh, Rema's official DJ. Some of the biggest bangers in the world have been produced by that gentleman right there. So thank you and welcome to Uganda, London. Uh, thank you. We're excited to have you here. Right, it's the ladies making woo. Uh, uh, so uh, Rema, first of all, I know it's been a long trip for you. How are you feeling right now? Let's start with that. How are you feeling right now? Yeah. Bless, yeah. You're excited? Yeah, I'm so grateful. I'm here. Yeah. yeah I'm Great. Excited. The weather is good because I know where you've been. The weather might not have been as good as this. Is, am, I, am I lying? Um, it's quite alive. Okay. It's like, it's really warm. It's really hot in yeah. Nigeria. So yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Well, um, you're currently on a tour. Um, so how has that been so far? Uh, where you are as we speak right now? Um, touring has been amazing, you know. Drop my debut album Rave and Roses, and it's been a really beautiful experience seeing people embrace my my art, my hard work, my effort. You know, um, it's been I won't I won't say it's not been easy. Like it's been you know I faced my ups and downs while while touring, but you know everything I'm just embracing all the moment, the good times, the bad times. I'm just learning and just like keeping it going and all. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful to have an awesome team behind me and everything has been going well. Nice. Speaking of which, uh, you come with your entire team, sort of like literally the entire movement. Yeah. Uh, in around. So people are like scared for tomorrow. It might be too much or it might be one of the things that they've been watching on their Instagram. <laughs> They're following and they want to know what should you Ugandans expect from Rema and the entire team tomorrow? You know, like everyone says, sometimes they say it's a show, sometimes they say it's a concert, but I call it a rave, you feel me? I feel like everything is bundled in the sentence or in the word rave. Um, it's going to be a moment of high energy. You know, one thing I always tell every crowd that I perform to is just let loose. Like, we only live once, so like, just be free, enjoy yourself. Most especially when you pay for the ticket, because like that's your hard earned money, so enjoy it. You feel me? Like it's yours. Like I'm here for you. You feel me? So I'm just here to give my all because um, I left, I, I traveled so far away to be here not to give my all. So I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to give it my best. And I also expect, you know, so much love from, from the people out here because for so long they've been supporting me. And it's a blessing to perform my album to them. Yeah. Now, obviously, here your songs are always streaming, uh, trending number one. I'm very sure you have the stats uh, and all this that has been happening. Uganda is 75% uh, young, and they're in your age bracket, if I was to say. So, I would want to know, like, from Rema, what would be the message to that young Ugandan as they celebrate? Uganda's independence. Uh, this is 60 years of independence. So to the youngins out there that are excited to have you in their country, what is your message? Um, first off, you're the future. You know, every young person out there, you're the future, you're the next generation. Um, and sometimes I feel like the world or um, a lot of people in power don't emphasize in the youths and the power of the youths because without us, you know, the future of our story, the future of our history cannot be taken forward. I feel like we have so much power within us, but, um, you know, as the world develops, you know, a lot of insecurities, we, we tend to doubt ourselves and they tend to like suppress that information, but we have power. That's one thing. First things first, we have power. Secondly, you know, just believe in your art, believe in your difference, believe in your in your uniqueness, I'll say. Um, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of pressure for young people. There's a lot of pressure, you know, financial pressure, looks, you know, a lot of standard in place for young people to you know, to fight themselves for, but just embrace yourself and just keep it going. Because the ones who will love you will love you and the ones who will hate you will hate you. But this, even good people are hated. You feel me? So you just have to keep it pushing still, you know? Um, and just promote unity. I feel like one thing that has helped 
the Nigerian music industry as well as unity. We all love each other, we respect each other. Even though we know it's competitive, we just do our best to keep it all healthy. You feel me? And I feel like unity is also key for the next generation. Yeah. Dope, I love that. I think we need to give a round of applause for that. That is dope. And um, we love it, we love it. Um, so obviously here we have some major superstars, some of the biggest Ugandan acts. Some of them definitely have crossed over the globe and uh, people have questions. Uh, so I thought maybe I'll just give one question. The fact that you're actually here with London, it makes sense for this question. And it's a very simple one. You recently collaborated with uh, Selena and I mean, obviously it has been more than a trampoline uh, for Calm Down. In the remix is a banger and it's everywhere in the world. Here we feel it and it's uh, it, probably 100% Red approval for that joint. So it does make sense that collaborations work and they make a lot of uh, sense. So question is, how does then someone collaborate with Rema if I'm in Uganda? <laughs> I had to bring that in, I'm sorry, but it has to be there. The fact that you're with London, it makes sense that maybe you could give us, what would it take uh, for a Ugandan to collaborate with Rema? Um, I would say, Communicating with me directly is a little tough because I'm not usually on social media. I just like to focus on real life. Um, but I've made it possible to be to make my team accessible because for the organizers to be able to reach me to bring me here in person, I feel like my team can also be reached out to make a collaboration happen. But most of my collab collaborations are just based off of mutual respect discussion like selena selena reached out like being a fan a long time i've been in contact with selena for a while we've been talking and we just keep pushing um one certain time i was just like i would like you to jump on on my song and she agreed and she gave me the verse like i asked for it but we've been in communication for a while same thing with chris brown you know like when i was with him we we're just chilling it wasn't about the music we we're just playing video games and we we're just like and then I brought up the music discussion, you feel me? Some of these collaborations are just organic, you feel me? It's just like, we're chilling, or I'm in your country, we hang, we chill, and we just keep it pushing like that. I have love and respect for everyone, you know, no matter the sound, no matter the country you're from. I've collaborated with Spanish art artists as well. It, the record has gone gold, you know, gold plaque, gold plaque in, um, in Spain. Uh, I sp I spoke Spanish, like I sang in Spanish. <laughs> yeah. I sang in Spanish. So for me to go that hard, speaking a language that I don't even, you know, understand, that shows the length I will go to collaborate with someone. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. All right. Well, speaking of which, um, before we get to the artists, I wanted everyone here to know that we are heavily supported by the Ministry of Wildlife, Ministry of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities. And today, our guest of honor, who is actually uh, very, very important to us, is the Honorable State Minister of uh, Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities, Honorable Martin Mugara. Uh, we're glad to have you here, sir. Uh, Honorable, please, uh, if you could say a word or two, because uh, it, uh, it is exciting to know that you're here to support us. Uh, you're the most swagged up 